Hey everyone, it's Desirang, and yes, we get to start our Spellbinders videos with, as always, the card kit of the month. This one is called A Little Hello. So, of course, I struggle with the back, and that's okay, because that's normal, so it's a theme. But as always with the card kit, you get this uh, piece here that tells you what's in your kit, what you should look for, and also gives you a little bit of inspiration. Also in this kit, you get your eight envelopes and your eight card bases. These beautiful fluttery 3D butterfly stickers. Your roll of double-sided tape and also your square of double-sided squares. A confetti pack with some sequins and some iridescent pieces. Your um, chipboard stickers and also some chipboard frames. Um, all kinds of types. Some of them have flowers on them. Some of them have birds. There's ovals. There's squares. There's rectangles. Ovals. So that's that's very uh, well rounded. You get five different shades of cardstock, solid cardstock of four, four and a quarter by five and a half sheets. And of course, my favorite, the die cuts, because I just love to collage with these. Also get your pattern paper pack. And here I will just flip through to show you the designs that you will be receiving. Instead of the paper pad, you will receive one sheet from if it was a paper pad. Um, these are six by six as well. So great background pieces, great larger images that can be part of your focal image. All right. So let's get started. And yes, be prepared. There are two cards where I forgot to hit record or my phone just stopped because I knew I hit record. It's the fun part of doing this. I took one of those frames and a piece of the solid cardstock, cut it down so that it would sit in back of the frame. I'm going to remove the little tiny pieces that can cut away from each of the die cuts, taking my pattern paper and placing that down all of the background pattern papers, I can tell you, are cut to four by five and a quarter. The other pieces are literally just cut by eye. I don't like to know, okay, what's this measurement? Okay, what's this measurement? I just want to get right to it and start creating. Taking some of the chipboard banners and I'm placing that in the upper right hand corner and I'm using the cup or the teacup and the jar, and we're going to place those along the bottom as well, propping them up with double-sided um, squares. And that is our first card. So this is a great card for any occasion. For our next card, same thing, putting down our background, placing down a larger print of from the pattern paper, and then placing a strip from top to bottom over that piece of pattern paper, going to add the trellis and a heart die cut. And then we will add our sentiment right along the bottom of the trellis. For our next card, again, instead of using um, the different pieces of pattern paper, I'm using one for the background. And then instead of like a full sheet, I'm going to mat another strip onto the solid cardstock. We're gonna place that right down the center and just look through some of the die cuts that I have. They're cakes, they're cupcakes. Um, so definitely a celebration is going on. Chose three of them, going to add the sentiment right in the center. And this has now become a birthday theme card. Placing down our piece of our pattern paper for the background. And I just slice some strips from the blue solid cardstock and just placing them towards the center. Again, I'm eyeballing this. Again, I just want to have fun with the process, not worrying about the center, not worrying about where it's sitting. I'm going to place another piece of pattern paper on top of that and then start collaging with our die cuts. So I have a chair with a light. I'm gonna put a tree just in front or a little tiny bush just in front of that and then set some books in the back. 
here's a card that I, you know, I, I, I know I hit the record button. I know I did. Um, so my phone has been acting quonky. That's what I use to um, have fun. This one, I almost forgot to hit the button. <laughs> so we have our batter papers. I have a strip of purple cardstock going across. I'm going to have the big caterpillar and the little one in the background. And we're just going to place three of the stamps around the piece as well. And we're going to add our sentiment right on the top. For our next card, I'm going to be playing. There was a chipboard piece um, within the frames. And it actually is one of those film uh, cases, negative cases. Now, you can not you can fold this in half if you wanted to. Um, but it doesn't, it's not scored. So I wanted to keep it flat. I looked through the die cuts and I found these stamps, uh, images that were a little bit bigger than these, these openings. So I set those in place and setting that going towards the left hand corner at the top, I grabbed a, um, small floral pattern. And we're going to set that right at the bottom and one of these beautiful 3d butterfly stickers that are extremely strong and of course <laughs> the last card uh, phone just shut down or i didn't hit that button um, i added a blue strip a navy blue strip to the back have all of these butterflies and it looks like all of these butterflies are coming out of that envelope as always, I hope you enjoyed uh, the cards that we made today featuring the Spellbinders card kit of the month. I will have the club, their gallery, and their shop linked down below. Um, and then all of the other clubs if you wanted to check them out. They keep growing with those. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well. And I will get back to you as always. Enjoy the art that you create. Have fun with it. Um, but if having fun means that you want to measure, then that's okay too. Um, I do not want anyone to feel that if you measure, you're not creating art. You absolutely are. I just, I don't have the time for it. <laughs> so enjoy it. Enjoy the process and try everything. You never know. You might find that gem that you like. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when the next video is ready, make sure you hit that notifications button. Guys, take care, have a great day, and always remember what's most important to me. Always be creative, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then.